you know anyways today's monday i'm in like the best mood ever it is 18 degrees out here in canada literally a week ago there was an ice storm and now it's 18 degrees so i want to explain that i got a breath from like climbing the stairs anyways i just finished work it's 12 i finished well it's like 12 30 i finished work at 12 on mondays and i have to study because i have my last exam on thursday but i wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about something that happened it's kind of funny i'm gonna like sit you guys down here so okay story time with carter i just want to like add this in because it happened after i stopped filming at the barn if you guys can't tell i had an accident <laughs> after i turned ollie out i went back to the barn to put my stuff away and i went to go pick up my grooming toe and the way i picked it up my nail bent back and i have fake nails on if you guys can't tell but i've never had an issue before ever never had an issue with like my fake nails at the barn because they're pretty short like they're not really long i filed them down even more because i'm so scared now so I like picked up my grooming toe and the way I picked it up my nail bent back and it ripped my real nail with it Literally guys, this is more painful than just looking at my elbow. Like I'm not even kidding you So basically this is what it looks like. I'll show you guys now. So basically it ripped like half of the nail off Like I'd say like I don't know to like there the real nail ripped off But like this bottom half is still like hanging on so it was like literally hanging on my nails are pretty like long here So it kept like catching and ripping more so painful. I had no band-aids at the barn so I got home and I pretty much like filed it down as much as I could like you guys can tell but like the real nail is still there but it's like not on my nail does that make sense like it's pretty much like just hanging on because I wrapped it so much but I think it's infected like I could probably pull it back I'm not going to but I put enough polysporin underneath to like keep it in place until I can go to the doctor but yeah so that was fun and I called my doctor's office um, and they told me I need to get a tetanus shot just in case. Um, and because I was at the barn too, there was like a bunch of dirt. So it's probably infected. Um, so I'm going Friday. Um, and I'm not sure. I'm really scared because I was scared I was going to have to rip the actual nail off. Like to let the nail grow back and just be like skin. But you have like so many nerves in your fingers that it was so painful. Like I was bawling my eyes out. So I decided to leave the nail on and I just like wrapped a bandaid super tight so that like the nail might stick back onto my skin if that makes sense. I really want to ride outside, but I don't know if the arena is open yet. So this is a really not nice flattering angle, but I just wanted to tell you guys that I really want to ride outside. It's really so nice out, and they finally opened the big arena too, so I think I might ride. I don't know, I'm kind of scared, because like Salem is like, I know how my horse is going to be, but... Oh, hi, boys! Oh, there's Theo, but that's not my horse. Where is my horse? Oh my god, my horse is so far away. I'm pretty sure this coil is electrocuting thing. Hi! Hi, boys! Is he gonna come over here? Do you think it's electric? I'm scared. Look at this beautiful paddock. My buddy's following me. Hey, big doofus! Hi, Zeus! Hey! Big doofus! You! You! I'm summoning you! Come here! You have to learn how to stand still. He doesn't like to.
I just finished my ride. He was super good, I didn't fall off, so mission accomplished. It was my first ride outside. Oh, someone's drinking some water. It's 7.30 and it's still light out. How crazy is that? Come on. I gotta hurry because it's 7.30 and I'm supposed to leave for it at 7.20, but it's fine. Okay, so he was really good. I cantered a little bit, just a little bit every time because he just doesn't really have much stamina. Come on! It's starting to get dark out. Sorry about the lighting, but he was really good today. He was pretty lazy. I was I was expecting him to have energy and I was pretty excited, but he didn't, so that kind of sucked, but whatever. Anyways, I'm gonna end the vlog here because I'm pretty much just gonna go home and study now, which is not really fun. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. And I'll talk to you guys in the next farm vlog. Say bye, Ollie. Say bye, Ollie.